Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest and her name is... Akarina. Yeah, Akari. And she is my three-year-old daughter. So today's video is going to be five tips on how to travel with a toddler on a long flight. Now, I'll be going on a flight to Japan with Akari here, and that flight's gonna be between 12 to 13 hours. So I made this trip last year with Akari, and I have learned a couple of things on how to kind of keep her entertained and well-behaved on the flight. So I hope you find these tips helpful. Now, before I move on, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. This channel is gonna be your go-to channel for anything Japanese or Korean beauty, as well as vlogs of my trips to Japan where I show you all the cool places to go and the good places to eat. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. So my first tip is to use YouTube Red. Now I know YouTube Red is a paid subscription so you don't have to watch any ads on YouTube, but I found this extremely helpful for when you're traveling long distances because you have the ability to download videos onto your device to watch for offline. Now as far as I know, there's really no limit to how much you can download. I've downloaded maybe hundreds of videos for her and I haven't hit the limit yet if there is one. Now I use the app YouTube Kids, which is geared towards, of course, kids and kind of kid-friendly channels and cartoons. So I like to pick out some of her favorite channels and that is Ryan Toy Reviews, Peppa Pig videos, kind of learning videos. And also what's really great is that there's some channels out there that kind of collect best moments from popular Disney movies and Pixar movies. And those are usually about 30 minutes and it really does keep her attention when I do need her to sit still. So those videos are great if you don't have like the space to download like two hour movies. And it's also great for their attention span because you know kids these age don't really have a really long attention span. So the second tip is tied in with the first one in which you do need a device for, and that is to download kid-friendly interactive game apps. So I really like the Amazon Kindle for Kids uh, device, and they have apps pre-installed. My favorite one is the Disney one, and she can kind of choose between her favorite Disney characters and play games um, related to that theme. So there's like puzzles, matching games, and like memory cards. And that really kind of does keep her entertained for a while. My third tip is to bring a sticker book. Now my daughter loves stickers. And I discovered this when my coworker gave my daughter a birthday gift of a Disney princess sticker book. And you can find this in your local bookstore. It's about $14, but those books have like thousands of stickers, but they also have pages in which they kind of leave blank and you kind of have to match stickers from that collection into those blank spaces. So for example, they had like a princess page and they had like silhouettes for all the princesses. So she had to kind of go back and find the stickers that will fit the silhouette. So when we did that activity together, it took her a while and she was having so much fun. So I kind of bought her a new one just because she kind of already went through her princess one. So I bought her favorite frozen one and that's gonna be a lot of fun to play with her with that in case the devices start to lose her interest. All right, so my fourth tip is to bring a bedtime story. So I suggest you bring a book that is associated with nap time or sleeping or just any book that is your kid's favorite to read before they go to bed. Now this is kind of primes them for the routine of going to sleep even though they're not in their familiar home and their familiar bed. So what I'm going to bring is the Good Night Moon book. She loves this story. It's very repetitive. You're saying good night on every page. It kind of gets them in that mindset that they need to go to sleep. And my fifth tip is to bring snacks that you kind of associate with good behavior. So for an art instance, I'm going to be bringing her favorite Japanese jelly beans called Poipol. This is such a nice citrusy taste. She loves it. And every time I try to get her to kind of sit still, I offer her these jelly beans. And another one of those snacks are another Japanese product and that's called Jagariko. It's pretty much a potato fried stick or I guess like a potato chip but in stick form. And again, I always kind of offer her this when she's on an airplane or a long bus ride when we were traveling Japan last year to kind of get her to sit still and you know, 
and it takes her some time to eat it and then that just kind of gets her excited and be like yes this is my favorite snack so yeah pretty much just bring snacks with you that your kid necessarily doesn't eat on a regular basis so those are my five tips for traveling with a toddler on a long airplane flight please let me know if any of these tips have helped you and also let me know in the comment section what tips that you may have I'm always open to hearing it because I do travel a lot with Akari whether it be long car rides to go visit family and of course going on long airplane flights to visit family before you go don't forget to give this a video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos all right thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week bye if I say bye, bye.